And Sal, of course, is absolutely right. It's a very mild start to the day. In the south coast at the moment, for example, temperatures are around about 16 or 17 degrees. And it is going to be a mild day across the board, but we do have some heavy rain. Using the word dregs quite a lot this morning, Carol, because <laughs> there's quite a lot of messy weather around, isn't there? There certainly is, Ben. Yes. Good morning, everyone. It's a wet start to the day for many of us, but it's also a mild one. Talking of combustible characters. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Carol, who is definitely the calmest person I know. Morning, Carol. Morning. <laughs> Thank you, Sal. Good morning, both. Good morning to you, too. It's a wet start to the day for many. It's cloudy, it's dank. There's some hill fog, some coastal mist and fog. As you can see here in Solly Hill, there's quite a lot of cloud around and it's been wet. Temperature wise, though, we're on the mild side for the time of year. 17 degrees at the moment in Southampton, 16 in Rill, 15 in Preston, 12 in Inverness. Carol, it's all about needing a brolly, isn't it, for the next couple of days? Absolutely, it's certainly for today, Ben. We've got heavy rain. Some of us already have that, some of us yet to get it. And it's also a very mild day for the time of year ahead. Carol has been telling us this morning how it's slightly warmer, but there's still rain around, isn't there, Carol? Yeah, I can probably. tell there's a clue in your picture. <laughs> there's no flies in you, Sal. You're absolutely <laughs> right. Good morning, everybody. Sal, of course, is absolutely right. We do have some heavy rain around, a lot of cloud as well, but it's very mild. Carol, that is really useful to know. So it's, it's Wednesday today. How long will we have to wait before that forecast for Sunday is a, a, a little firmer in terms of the strength of the winds and any more potential problems? Just a day or two, Sal. With each passing day, it will become firmer, but it is a deep area of low pressure, so it really is one we're watching. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have a better idea of exactly where it's going to go. And I'll and, definitely tell you. And, Carol, if you stay there, does it not come? Because it's hidden behind you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> the cheeky <Same> thing, Ben. <laughs> I'll be having trouble, words man. with him, Carol, don't worry. <laughs> I'm in mean, trouble. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> Thank you. Very good afternoon to you. Well, for some of you, as you can see here in Hastings, it's almost a day for the beach. A broken sky, sunshine out, temperatures in the low 20s. But it's the exception rather than the rule. Our satellite imagery, so the view from space shows the breaks are limited to that part of the UK. Lots of cloud elsewhere. It's misty, it's foggy, it's drizzly. And for some, heavy rain is bouncing down, as we can see here in Herefordshire. Risk of flooding continues for some as we go through the rest of the day. Hi there, and a very good afternoon to you once again. Now, for some of you, you're probably staring out the window at blue skies right now, as you've got here in Surrey. Temperatures around six degrees above where we should be for this stage in October. But it's warm across the board today. It's just that for most of us, it's a day painted in grey. Misty, it's damp out there, and for some, the rain is falling quite heavily. You can see here in Oswestry, Street, we're already starting to see some flooding around as well. And Hello there. It certainly has been a very mild day out there today with some spots creeping up into the low 20s. It will stay pretty mild in fact for the next few days but with that it will turn a little more changeable and Sunday in particular looks set to bring some wet and rather windy weather. Uh, rather warm today and wet by the looks of it. Yeah, warm for some, wet for others Sophie. That pretty much sums up the weather. Yes, we have seen some localised flooding today here in uh, parts of Shropshire with the rain really coming down heavily and it's been particularly wet across parts of Western England and Wales. We've had 67 millimetres of rain in parts of Cornwall over the last 24 hours but whilst it was chucking down in the west bringing that localised flooding in the east we had temperatures of 22 degrees in London that's seven degrees above average for the time of year. Now this well today it was very very mild uh, the cloud that we had to start off the day Broke up into the afternoon and we had some decent sunshine coming through for a time. Felt quite muggy, quite humid and very mild. We had temperatures all the way up to 22 degrees Celsius, 7 above average for this time of the year. However, the weather is right now on the turn because we've got a weather front coming our way. Rain inbound imminently. going to go to the weather now and Joe is in York tonight at the city's uh, magnificent Minster beautifully lit up behind you Joe and, and tell us all about the anniversary they're marking there tonight well Mary it's absolutely beautiful here at the Minster as you can see but 40 years ago it was struck by lightning the rose window above me was struck in 40,000 places 
and this sparked a huge fire causing millions of pounds worth of damage and it took years to repair. The events of that night and the aftermath are being commemorated by a new light and sound show within the Minster for the next two weeks. It's called Phoenix by the artists Ross Ashton and Karen Monid. It's absolutely spectacular, showing how the Minster recovered after the events of that night. Another anniversary today, in fact, of a huge weather event, the Great Storm of 1987, when winds in excess of 100 miles an hour wreaked havoc across the UK. Unfortunately, 18 people lost their lives and 15 million trees were blown down on the night of the 15th into the 16th of October. No storms today, but some really heavy rain across parts of the UK. And we still have some weather warnings in place as we head through into this evening. Parts of Western England and Wales will still see some very heavy rainfall over the next few hours until around nine o'clock. And then the heavier to that rain will transfer into northern England, where it's likely to be very wet with some localised flooding until around midnight tonight, when that rain begins to ease off for much of the UK. It's been an incredibly mild day today, 22 Celsius in London, and will continue to be mild again tonight and tomorrow, with rain easing off for many places by dawn. Tomorrow should be brighter in general, with lots of sunshine to look forward to. So some heavy rain around tonight. If you're travelling, particularly in northern England, do take care out on the roads. There could be some localised flooding for a time. Over the next few days, unfortunately, more unsettled weather ahead, particularly Sunday night into Monday, when things could turn very windy indeed.